there, everyone. Welcome to Artery Gear Fusion. We have here Grace, maxed out Grace. And um, just to give you guys a you know sample build on Grace. So let's go through her info first. You basically need to have her at 100% critical so that she crits every time she deals damage. Critical damage as well should be over 200, preferably. Uh, and attack over 4,000. So farming build, you know, uh, whatever you call it. She can also be even used in story when you clear story. Um, as for her skills, guys, you need to max it out as quick as possible, especially for um, this one, the third skill and the first one. Uh, this one is for critical chance and critical resistance, also actually a must. So all three should be increased or should be maxed out as a priority. Um, this one, uh, copies of her, ranking her up is not as important. So however or how many copies you have of her is pretty much okay. Although she is a three star and she's easy to to what you call this to acquire then better but it doesn't really matter um, uh, in terms of farming right in terms of farming but you know um, copies of her is actually a welcome sight because this is an additional um, you know attack and other allies you also has 250 and 150 HP um, very good very good buff so Again, this is her info, critical and crit damage, as you can see here, should be at this uh, stage. And um, if you take a look at her gear, if you want to build her on a farming, as a farming um, early on in the early stages. So five stars should be good. Um, you could have here attack set, attack, 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 critical, crit damage, attack, attack. So. Um, more on the damage side for the 2p set should be a critical set so also attack critical critical damage and this should be this should also be more or less i like this to be critical damage but they have attacks but they have critical damage attack and critical as well so again these are your gear so as much as possible upgrade them to 15 so that you could maximize her out for farming anyway once she's maxed out, she'll be she'll be one of your best heroes uh, early on. And um, for technology, um, try to upgrade as you know as fast as you can up to probably phase three, four, five, and six are actually a plus for you. This is for defense, attack, and this is for HP. So. Again, phase three is actually going to be good. Uh, four, five, six is going to be an add-on. So, let's um, let's. Uh, are we done? So Grace is actually at six star already, six dark stars. So let's uh, uh, take you guys to a sample of my farming here. So let's go to Asura, where it's best to farm EX three. Let us um, do one battle here. So. Ideally, you have to have Grace on the second slot and also be wary guys to set up your fleet mandate fleet mandate ideally You'll be using this guy here because of uh, What they call this I think provides a shield for you guys Consume tactic point protect us from that's when the enemy makes a move Okay, so that is actually your primary primary um, default guardian to be used when you're in battle um, in farming especially for ex3 so you have here your fathers here so let's try this out okay so one way to check your uh, fleet mandate is to verify if you have the support ag right here so support ag is this guy the blue one so that it should be your default um, so that um, he can actually give a shield or protect uh, your fathers and also grace from battle. And also put here, you may actually put here um, attack puppet first because she is AOE or cleave. 
but I'm putting it at attack boss first because um, she should even attack the boss even with her first skill. So as you can see, very fast clear. Yeah, that's it. So that's EX3. Okay, so there you go, guys. So let's do some clears for even for main story. She is actually good with main story. I've actually used her. So we are here at uh, 7 already. She's at 710. Currently, I couldn't clear this one. But let's clear the last one. Um, she is... Uh, this is actually my... Not this one. Ah, uh, this one. Sorry. This one is my main story clearer. Clear. Okay, so main story clear. So we have here Alice in front and Jinja in front, Sirius at the back, and Grace also at the back. So fortunate I was able to get Sirius, so let's try this out. Okay, so for this one, my fleet mandate is... Should be this guy. So additional protection for everyone. Even for, even for story mode, um, that guy is my default. To lessen damage to the troop because I don't have a healer. Um, damage output for them is actually big at this point. Serious, um, similar, you know, similar kit to what you call this to Grace, but Grace has the most powerful um, gear at this point because she's really meant to help you um, clear a lot of stages. Um, starting out, this is actually our fourth day, guys, I think, in playing this game. And uh, you need to have her at full strength to be able to farm stages, to clear stages. And um, I'm not even... She's actually even my six, first six-star, Grace. So, a lot of investment uh, uh, with her to start because I'm sure you guys will not be, you know, not be disappointed by her performance farming wise and also story wise so let's just finish this one and see how fast i can clear this this is we are at 27 percent and i think this is the last one because sirius is getting serious with this one okay so let's try to clear that last stage that I was not able to clear yet for our last showcase. So that was 7 10. Okay. I haven't cleared this yet. So same squad with Grace. Uh, insufficient energy. Confirm. Confirm. Cancel. Then let's do this. Okay, guys, so we have here, first up, Alice, let's uh, check my mandate. So, okay, so that's good for now. So, as you can see, Grace deals a lot of that. The rest are just finishing them off. So, for the first AoE, there you go. They didn't even have to, you know bring out their um, most powerful active skill. So we're off to the second stage. Okay, so just have to shorten animations here so that everybody can move on from this clear. So again, as you can see there, this is actually stage 7. Normal, not hard mode. So... Okay, so we encounter the centaur here. So, Grace. Ow! So, as you can see there, a lot of damage just by one AoE. Nearly halved the damage of the centaur. So, basically clearing AoE already. So, again, you can use Grace clearly if you built her solid for farming. Um, you can definitely build her and uh, use her for story mode as well. Clearing story mode, normal, hard mode. I don't think it would be a problem for her. So that's it. Okay, so final thoughts with, um, with Grace. 
as early as now, as early as the fourth day of playing global, um, take advantage of of what she can give you. Take her as far as you can. Uh, if you don't have any other cleavers yet, don't worry. She will really, 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 really shine for you no matter what. And trust me, guys, I'm enjoying um, using her in clearing stages and advancing through content. So that is it, guys. So if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comment section below. And also, um, please subscribe to my channel, guys. If you have not, I'll be putting daily content for artery gear fusion you know i've been putting out dailies for the past few days so moving forward as well so take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here